People who fell out with their best close friend. What killed it? Friends for 20 years. Helped her with rides. Money. Cloth CCT. The first time I asked her for anything was after my husband had brain surgery and needed meds the local pharmacy didn't have. I couldn't leave him alone and could not take him with me so I asked her to watch him for an hour. She said no she wanted to go to the store with her BF. I never talked to her again. And thank goodness she didn't have the balls to show up to my husband's funeral. I worked with them. They were very lazy and constantly started drama between myself and our co-workers. Lost pretty much all the respect I had for them. I was BFF with mine from age 16 to 30. It slowly became apparent that she was a narcissist I loved her anyway stupid me. When we were 30 we were all out at a restaurant and I went to use the bathroom. For some reason I could hear her voice clear as day and she was taking so much shit about me I came out of the restroom, dropped some money on the table and told her to suck my ass. I left and never looked back. She tried to message me to tell me I was crazy. I blocked her. Last 13 years without her have been great. She warned me about my fiancé at the time. Now ex-wife. And I didn't listen to her. My fiancé didn't like that and told me to pick her or my friend. I picked my fiancé and then she eventually cheated on me multiple times including while we had an infant at home. Never been more wrong in my life. Realizing that he was a shit friend who saw me as lesser than him. And he used that as justification to try and completely control my life. Best friends for 12 years. She was a complete bridezilla. Long story short. I was maid of honor and was expected to pay for multiple showers. Ended up paying for part of her dress. And was asked to plan pay for the entire bachelorette trip. I was in the process of building a house so I said no to the parties and trip paying not planning. Attending and was swiftly booted from the wedding. Funny part was. The guy had been cheating on her and she knew and told me she was gonna leave him. She didn't. She cheated on him back. He found out while I was with them. They broke up. Two days later I got a call they were engaged. So bizarre. They moved and stopping putting any effort into the relationship whatsoever. I offered to go there. I offered to fly them here they hadn't secured work yet and they never made time. They never reached out. When I finally wrote and said it seemed apparent they'd lost interest in the relationship and I respected that but needed to move on rather than wait indefinitely. They refused to acknowledge anything had changed and told me I sounded crazy. I asked why I hadn't heard from them or seen them in a year and a half. No response. Reality is subjective. As they say. He started doing heroin. All these comments make me feel better about the friends I have lost it makes me feel less alone. I've realized a lot of people have gone through similar. Heartbreaking. Situations with their friendships. I can't be the kind of friend most people want. Depression. I'm always slow to respond. I don't want to go out often. Also time doesn't seem to affect how I feel about friends. But people think it's weird to get back in touch after a couple years and act the same. It's on me tbh. I cared more about the relationship than she did. I'm not gonna beg anyone to be my friend. We were best friends in high school. I moved in with him in 2015 because I needed a place to stay. And his father offered to let me rent out a spare bedroom for super cheap. Within five months, my friend made a romantic sexual pass at me. I was not interested. This eventually escalated into fighting every day. Which ended with him threatening to slit my throat with a knife. I left that night and have never looked back. He molested my daughter and her two sisters. I have no idea, but she stopped responding to texts or reaching out. She literally turned into her mother. Only caring about appearances. At 23, I couldn't take the judgment anymore.
she married an abusive husband. Emotional and verbal abuse that I know of including personally being present for the abuse. Though she once left, before being married, because she was concerned he would hit her. I tried so hard to be a safe space. But through a series of unfortunate meetings, I had to prioritize myself. On a gentle note to others, I have had lots of great best friends. But growing up without a cell phone and social media being everything all the time, I have moved and changed. And previous relationships have naturally passed. And that's okay. Enjoy the times you've had and the things you've learned. I have ADHD and am a terrible communicator. I met her through one of my guy friends that I used to work with. We became extremely close, hung out all the time, talked about our issues, thought I really knew her as a person. Then a year after she married my friend, she cheated on him with an ex and just left to be with the ex and his family. My guy friend was heartbroken and so was his daughter who she had grown close to. I refused to even talk to her after that. Cheating isn't something I will overlook or condone. Well it ended but was repaired. She got into a relationship with a walking red flag. And I told her as much. Things kept getting worse with him until I wasn't able to watch it anymore. Then he convinced her that I was the toxic one and trying to control her so she didn't want to be friends anymore. I told her he absolutely would hit her if he hadn't already. I said I respected her decision to choose him over me. But please don't delete my number and to call me when it came time to run. She did and she's out. Learned from it. And we're friends again. When she told me to get over my friend's deaths. By the way my friends got killed right in front of me. And she refused to apologize. School ended. Never heard from her again lol. She blew off my wedding to go to Burning Man with some dude that dumped her shortly after. We did the party stage drugs and alcohol in our late teens early 20s together. I had a kid in my early 20s and started focusing on my career. And moved into my own place as we were previously roommates. He kept going on the partying until his mid-thirties but had his kid and got married recently and you. No. Settled down. Whenever we run into each other. It's always cordial and we catch up for a little bit. But we just stopped seeking each other out when we decided to follow separate paths. My son was delayed. Hers was not. Her son was roughly a year younger and there were constant snide comments about how much sooner her. Sun hit milestones than mine did. I gave her the benefit of the doubt that maybe she didn't mean it the way it came across and I was just touchy. And then she called my two-year-old stupid because he was mostly non-verbal. She got told to fuck off. Smile. I'm just toxic got too many mental health issues. Can't hold down friends. Fear of abandonment and all. It was my fault. I have bipolar. And I wrecked her 21st birthday party while I was manic. I apologized. But I'd done too much damage and she told me she didn't want to see or hear from me again. That was decades ago. And we haven't spoken since. He developed romantic feelings for me. One night he decided to drunk message my husband about how lucky he was to have me. He better treat me well. Etc. Had to cut him off and end the friendship completely. She started doing a lot of coke. She was always a little spicy. But the coke turned spicy into aggressive and bitchy. Final straw was when she started dating her dealer. She found new, cooler, less ugly friends and suddenly I was an embarrassment to be around.